So from what I understand, right, you have a lot of experience in arts, both from high school and college. Um, I always hear people speaking about using arts to heal. Uh, have you used art as a form of therapy in your life? Well, absolutely. I think in a sense we all, whether we realize it or not, use art as a, mecha as a mechanism or as a method uh, to heal, whether it's you know, changing our location, going on vacations, um, listening to music, um, you know, writing, uh, photography. Um, for me, it, it was photography and videography. Um, especially from um, high school. My mother, I believe it was one of those uh, birthday gifts she gave to me where she used kind of her military credit to, to buy me. Uh, <laughs> it was a nice camera though, top-notch camera. And a lot of the kind of like single parenthood, uh, not trauma, but a lot of the distress that I was having from that one lens or that masculine lens, I would really capture that. Um, and I was in love, and this all goes all the way to, to college, I was in love with the camera and taking pictures of abandoned buildings, uh, which is crazy to me, but now as I'm talking about it. But, correlate with you feeling But it, it kind of correlated. Um, and, my first, and all of them was black and white photos. I never took a colored photo, because um, I was very in love with uh, Gordon Parks, um, as I mentioned, uh, James Van Der Zee, um, Carrie Mae Weems, uh, all of these, um, you know, um, black, uh, photo real heavy, um, inspirational um, artists who really captured the black experience, the normal day uh, black experience. Um, it's a brother by the name of Dr. Quasey, um, who always tells me it's easy to write a, a, a documentary or a book about a president or someone who's in the mainstream, uh, but it is a more profound thing to write about the everyday lifestyle. And that's what those artists did for me. So I wanted to capture the everyday lifestyle of these abandoned buildings and all in black and white. And it wasn't until my first official um, project that would be uh, all over the University of Notre Dame where I actually incorporated color. It was a childhood series where I was the child, I'm older, but I was the child in every one of my pictures. Uh, so. You know, it was snowing, and I would go to this big factory, abandoned factory, and I would lay in the snow and take a picture, time it, run, lay in the snow. But these are like real live, some of the greatest photos. My, my teacher said these are some of the greatest photos that I've seen. Um, and what that did for me was it was it was healing for me to just see myself in that, but also move away from it because that was my healing. You understand? Um, I mean, I would go to to some of the you know the townies' houses to use their house, hey, can I, can I use your house? Can you be a subject for me? In South Bend, Indiana, right? And um, this was a big healing um, method for me in, in that visual art area, um, as well as some of the short films that I did. And I wanna talk about early on in regards to a lot of young black men deal with rage. <laughs> right? Rage. I was a, right, so yeah. whether the parents there, whether the parents not there, we have rage. Yeah. Um, uh, you said uh, you were with your mother. Now, was the rage for you fueled by the absence of your father and being a, the experience of being a black person in America, or was it just the absence of the father? Well, my rage, I wouldn't say um, it, it was... Like, I had, a, I had a father figure. My father was around, right? Um, not as much as I would like that that may have been this kind of blind kind of like stress right like i had my uncle around blase blase right <laughs> as we would call but it was kind of like this hidden trauma this hidden you know stress that i had that that really led me to trying to find these external um you know ways of healing uh that were really internal because you, you're bringing something out of yourself right when you read and you see yourself in it, you're, you're putting yourself on the page. When you, you know, take pictures, you're putting yourself um, in that space. Uh, so it, that, um, that anger or, or that, whatever that emotion is called, frustration, um, I, I found ways to heal it by the arts, but also by sports and also understanding um, that I had to um, express that, but I had to get past it because anything that's driven by emotion um, can go away with the wind. You understand? So even in football, if you're driven by emotion, 
uh, that won't last long. You've seen many times teams, you know, like this up before the game, and they all hype and they get smacked, right? Because emotion uh, is not vain, but it's a great igniter, but it's not great at the persistence and the consistency of trying to accomplish, accomplish a mission. The only pushback I'll put on that is based on my experience. Even though mm -hmm. I haven't played in the league, I did play college basketball. And what I noticed that those who went to the league mm -hmm. had a different level of pain. And I feel that in order to perform at a certain level in your craft, you need a certain level of pain that pushes you more than other people. You need pain in a certain level of desperation to do the things others are unable to do to put them in that position. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I agree with that um, to a sense. I would say that pain is the igniter, right? Like I just mentioned, the emotion being a great igniter. But if that pain isn't matched up and married with a sense of ration and a sense of reasoning, I can list to you right now 100 football players that I grew up with that had a tremendous amount of pain. <laughs> Father died, mother died, sister died, got shot. I, I can show you those players that have that pain, right? But I can't show you the player where he just has pain and that got, to him, got him to the league. I can show you a player that marries that pain with a sense of a why, a sense of a, a reasoning of a why this needs to happen because X, Y, and Z. I, see, I can show you a cause and effect scenario um, in this kind of um, conjoining of both the emotions matched with the reasoning of why this person is doing what he's doing. Pain needs direction and an outlet. There you go. Or the direction for the outlet. Absolutely. Yeah, serious thing. Yeah, I love that.